Hey everyone, this is a new video tutorial of how to set up Osmo for Redvex. First thing you're going to want to do is download the Redvex Core, Osmo, and optionally you can download Mixam. It helps a lot for keeping your bot going in case it crashes or stops running for whatever reason. Um, for version 3.1, which is what I use because I find it to be the most reliable, you are going to need D2 Loader. For the later versions, you won't need it, but I would highly recommend it. For D2 Loader, you just download it, copy and paste it into your Diablo 2 folder, and then rename or delete your old Diablo2.exe, and rename D2 Loader to Diablo Space II. After you've done that, you're going to want to open Osmo, go into Diablo 2, copy those files in there, and put them inside of your Diablo 2 folder. Mine are already in there, so I'm just going to paste over top of them. Next thing, go into Osmo again, open Redvex, and copy all the files that are in there, and paste them into your Redvex folder. This is the core, by the way. Now you're going to have a redvex.dll. You can just delete that. Now you're going to want to rename redvex patch and the core.dll to just add something at the end of it. So I'm just going to add space k at the end. Now for core, you're going to want to rename it so it matches your redvex file, except it has the .dll at the end. After you've done that, drop Redvex onto the patch, you'll get a black window that comes up, just close it, and then run Redvex. Uh, select your realm. I've already created my Redvex realm, so you're going to get that option if this is the first time you've used the core. And after they've done that, mine's going to load up Diablo because everything would work if I had set up my configuration settings, which I'm going to go over right now. I will put a link to a guide for the configuration settings. Um, it will be in the thread, so just check it out there. It's very well explained, so I'm not going to go over everything in there. Your configuration settings are right there. Now for your game path and game.exe, you're just going to want to, for your game path, find the path for your Diablo 2 folder. Usually it's in this unless you've uh, specified something different for your download when you were installing it. And then the gamepath.exe, I think it's defaulted to be d2 loader dash version .11 or some shit like that. Just change it to Diablo space II so it matches your d2 loader. Uh, for your username, just put your username, password, character name. It is case sensitive so be aware of that. Care position is for 3.1 not for the latest versions. So your care position when you go into your uh, character list, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now game name, bail chat, uh, your belt, delays, everything is explained in the INI that I will post. Now inventory lock, you're going to want to set that to 1 and inventory for people who don't really understand this. Um, if you look in your inventory, there are a bunch of little boxes, and each one of these zeros and ones represents one of those boxes. A zero represents a space where there is currently not an item, and a one represents a space where there is an item in that location. Now every in there, everything in there should be good. Uh, for your bot configuration settings, for 3.1, you're going to want to have two cells by each other. The first one identifies, the second one sells items. So if you're going to use 3.1, have that. Uh, the other things you can add in here are shop, stash, repair. Uh, the first number, you can add delays. Uh, I believe it's in milliseconds. Usually people set it to like 60 or something like that. For repair, uh, you got your delay and this number right here is how many games it will uh, run before it repairs. So right now it's set, so it will run 19 games, repair, another 19 repair. Uh, also you can add gamble. You don't need delays for it, I don't believe. And I will post uh, 
a link to, an, uh, I think, another guide or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it shows you everything you can put in. For the delays, you're, you're going to want to put 120 for the most part. That helps a lot. For bail, 300. That's just uh, the maximum amount of time that it'll do, uh, do each of those monsters. And if it doesn't get in, in that, that amount of time, it'll uh, skip to the next one. Once you've done that, just uh, try running Red Vex and see if you get it to come up. When it, when it does come up, before the bot will run, uh, it's, it's not logging onto my Red Vex gateway. You want to hit start. And then it will, but because I haven't put anything in there, it's just going to do that. So you can just close that. Now if you want to get Mixamo, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is go into the configuration settings and your directory. The easiest way to get that is to go into your Redvex folder and copy that and paste it in there. You're going to want to make sure you have that backslash there. This is the only spa place you need the backslash, you don't need it for the other paths. And then Redvex, just rename it to what you renamed your Redvex file. So mine's Redvex space K. Now there, there's the... Okay, I haven't said anything so it's not going to open, but that's the Mixamo uh, file. What I like to do is create a shortcut and just put it in my Redvex folder. So if I had set everything, all my game pass, my password and all that, it would run, but now it obviously won't. If you followed this guide correctly, you should have a working bot, but if you're still having troubles, try redoing it, following other guides that are on the website, there are quite a few. But if you're still having trouble, uh, post in the forums, and hopefully you get everything good. Have a good one.